On March 5, 2021, Dr. Robert Bard, clinical research investigator and medical publisher, embarked in an intensive field review of the neuromuscular stimulation protocol. This unique study is part of an unbiased report about the efficacy of wearable pain therapy devices, as well as an assessment of how electrical muscle stimulation actually works. Axiobionics, a recognized manufacturer of therapeutic devices, was chosen to join Dr. Bard in this two-part study, and to share technical information about this therapeutic modality. Dr. Barr designed this test with the use of advanced medical imaging to perform progress scans of the affected areas treated by the device. He elected to employ the science of quantitative ultrasound to monitor all musculoskeletal and neurological responses. But in order to truly explore and verify its therapeutic claims, Dr. Bart also chose to use his own physical injuries to personally identify its results firsthand. He believed that combining the use of medical imaging and experience-based reporting would jointly provide a more in-depth analysis of the neurostimulation therapy and the healing process. As the actual end user, Dr. Bart is able to critically discern every aspect of the pain reduction process. In addition, he also employs other analytical tools including observational before and after videos of the body's performance, hoping to visually identify physiological results of the therapeutics. This in-depth reporting is done in concert with technical interviews and regular consultations with the chief developer of the therapeutic devices. And again, I look for changes in contraction. With the stimulus on, I was looking for the muscle contracting and there was no contraction, but by that time, on the 8th, it was down to, pain level was down to 3. On the 9th, it was down to 2. On the 10th, uh, down to 1. You know, Dr. Bard's case is fascinating. It's, it's a complex case because you can see all these things that are going on. As he mentioned, you know, the pain was more significant in the back. And that sort of masked the hip pain, which, by the way we see this all the time. So people uh, will suddenly discover that pain that they've had, had somewhere else on the body uh, becomes more prominent when we get rid of pain where, we've, where, where we're treating.